I'm Katrina and this is So and Hair. And today is going to be a really, really fast video. Um, you guys haven't seen the video yet, but I made these planters here. And when I made those, I transplanted this plant right here, which is one of these collards. Um, I'll put a video of harvesting the florets. We did that, I don't know, a week or two ago, a couple weeks ago. But how you can propagate this. And that's exactly what I did over here. I will put the date up here somewhere um, of when I put this in here. And I'm going to show you how to do this because you see the pathway is getting skinnier. <laughs> so this is the plant that we're dealing with. I'll bring you down so I can show you what we're doing. The pathway starts way over here. And we have this massive plant that's going this way. And it goes over here, right? So let me show you what we're going to do. So. This is just reaching all the way from over here and we're just going to cut it. And because I don't want this to, because I don't want this to grow out into the pathway again, I'm going to cut it quite far back. So we have this long, this long stick. All right. So we have the top of the plant all the way down here and this long stick now every place there is a little notch there that has the potential to grow new leaves so um, how you harvest tree collared the leaf is to take off like this every time you take off a leaf it's gonna leave a little little bud little uh, bud here I guess and you can actually see some of those are starting to become regrowing. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into several different plants. Now, how do we do that? This is all you need to do. So the other one, I did the top and the top works. I'm going to try that with this. This might be a little too much greenery for it to support, but we're going to try. And I'm just going to cut it right there. And I'm going to take off some of these leaves. Now, this leaves, they can be dinner, right? We're not wasting them. So anytime you want something to grow roots, you need to take away some of the vegetative matter um, because then it doesn't have to support that matter and it can concentrate on roots. So that's why I'm doing this. Honestly, it's been wet enough that probably don't have to do it. <laughs> But that's what I'm going to do. Um, some people would take away the flowers. I don't really care. It'll work. So I'll show you what we do here. All right. So we're in this bed here. Hopefully my battery will stay. And I'm actually going to put them over there because I'm going to put something else underneath the trellis. This is exactly how I planted the other one. It's really easy. So here's the plant. And you literally just go like this. And you're done. The end. That will grow roots. Now these other ones, the only thing you have to remember, so now we just have a stick. Do you remember which way is down? Hopefully you do. If not, whatever the cut side is up, that is up. So if you have your, if you have your stick facing this way, that is down. If you have your stick facing this way, that is up. And again, these are tree collards. I think I forgot to say that in the beginning. Anyway, these are tree collards. <laughs> So for these, you could stick this whole thing in just like I did, but I'm actually going to do several different ones. So I'm going to cut it into, I think three pieces. So one, and two, three. You don't need very much. Okay, we have our sticks here, and all we need to do is put it in most of the way, like literally most of the way. Okay. Just a couple nodes above ground is fine. And there you go. Those will grow. So I know you're going to ask, well, Katrina, how long does it take to, for it to start growing? I don't know. It depends on how much water it's getting. It depends on how much nutrients it's getting. It depends on what temperature it is, all these things. But what I do know is it pretty much works every single time. <laughs> So, um, let's pull this other one out and see how much roots it has. I'll put on the screen when, uh, when I shoved it in the ground like that. 
and we'll see how how well it's doing. It's growing, obviously. Okay, so you can see this one has new growth. So all of that growth out that side there, that's all new growth from when I when when I shoved it in there. And then this is old growth, right? But let's see what it looks like. I think this must be one of the sages that's that planted itself or maybe some yarrow all right so I'm pulling on it and there's definitely some rootage there let's see what's in there I'm just gonna pull it up you guys see the ground moving whoops This was a stick not that long ago. Oh, we got a worthworm. Look at that. Look at that, guys. These roots were not there very long ago. Isn't that awesome? All right, guys. So this huge plant was just a cutting. It was just a cutting shoved in the ground. However many days it goes on the screen right now. <laughs> and it got all these roots. It got all these roots. I think that's pretty impressive. And it's enough to support flowers, which means it's enough to support seeds. So I'm going to plant this back and we'll have another plant. This is actually going to go someone, go to someone, but I'm going to plant it back for now. It's, it's not quite as deep as it was, but it'll do. There are a lot of things that you can propagate just from cutting it and sticking it in the ground. Tree collard is definitely one of them. They start from the ground, from cuttings in the ground. They start from seed. They can be very prolific. So um, if you're wanting to grow, if you're wanting to grow tree collard, it's a really good choice and you can, you can give you lots of food. In fact, my, my whole front yard was covered in tree collard at one point. I'll see if I can find a photo. I don't know if I can find a photo easily of that, but that was purple tree collard and I just had to cut it all down because it was getting ridiculous. <laughs> so I hope that you have found this informative and you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed, please also subscribe and hit the bell notification because that means you'll get all the videos and I want you to have all the videos. <laughs> so have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful gardening time. Start thinking about those things that you can propagate that you already have or that maybe one of your friends has. Or maybe you only need one plant and you can make more plants out of it later. So, share this with someone who needs to learn this skill. It's very easy. And have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.